Hey guys, and happy Sign Wednesday. So for today, I am participating in Sign Wednesday, which is hosted by Deco Easy and Crafty Lini, and that was my inspiration piece. And I'm going to be using this frame that I've had in my basement for a while now, and this um, vinyl backsplash from the Dollar Tree, along with a piece of foam board that's cut up to fit inside the frame. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to give the frame a quick coat of black. Um, and this is just the chalk paint from, or chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to give it a quick coat of the black paint so that I can cover up any of the blemishes or anything like that. Just like I said, it's been sitting in my basement, so the color, you know, it's been scratched up and stuff. So I just want to kind of give it, freshen it up a little bit. So once I'm done, um painting that I'm going to set it aside to let it dry and then I'm going to take the um the subway tile vinyl and I'm going to cut it to fit on the foam board and again I cut the foam board to fit inside the frame obviously so I'm just going to go ahead I'm going to take the um the vinyl and I'm going to measure it out so I can fit it on the foam board I'm just going to take my exacto knife and my ruler and cut around it just so that I can be um, straight and even and so today like I said I'm participating in sign Wednesday and basically it's exactly that just make a sign <laughs> so um, that is what I'm doing and if you are coming over here from the playlist thank you so much for stopping by I appreciate it and if you're one of my regular subscribers thank you so much you know I appreciate you and um make sure that you head on over to Deco Easy and Crafty Leanies channels I'll have their information in my description box along with the playlist so be sure to check everyone out I'm sure you're going to get lots of inspiration every week they come or every um, time this challenge comes up they come up with such amazing signs so you're definitely going to want to head on over there and if you like um, thrift flips and Dollar Tree DIYs and salvage um, projects this is definitely the channel for you um, you know not all bubbly but I am kind of fun sometimes, most of the time. <laughs> so definitely, you know, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I hope you stick around and um, join my crazy little family here. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and put this vinyl on the foam board. Usually what I do is I take one edge, glue it on there the way that, you know, um, put it on there straight, make sure it's on there the way that I want it. And then I start sliding the backing off of it. Usually it's not this big or I mean it's uh, bigger so I use a ruler and then it re I realize it's big enough. I can use my ruler for it. So you go ahead you just take your ruler and you slide the backing off and slide the ruler over the vinyl. And for the most part it goes on really smooth. No bubbles. Um, but because this one was folded up in that, you know, in the wrapper, it kind of had little dents in it. So that's the only reason there was like a few bubbles in there, just because of the little, the little fold, folded parts there. So then I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife. I'm going to cut the corners or put a little slit in the corners, as you see me doing here, just so that when I fold over the edges, um, you know, they fold evenly or so that there's not like a bulk in the corner, I guess. Um, and then you just fold all four sides and then whatever is left over as far as like um, on the corners, I just took my X-Acto knife and cut it off and it worked perfectly. I don't generally use a lot of like big pieces of vinyl, like um, what's that stuff called? The shelf liner and stuff, just because it's so so frustrating because of all the bubbles and stuff so I don't really use it that often but when I do you know I try to minimize the bubbles and I figured out a way that works for me so anyway I think it looks good and then the next thing that you're going to do is you're just going to take the foam board put it inside of the frame and then um, we're going to work on the front part of the sign and it was kind of hard getting this piece of foam board it was just a little bit too big I, I didn't um, 
account for the vinyl when I cut the foam board I probably should have cut it just a little bit smaller but it worked out because it's foam board I was able to just kind of push it in there and it worked fine so I think it came out you know it came out smooth it looks good so I like it so then I'm gonna just use this uh these little vinyl cutouts that I used that I made using my Cricut and I'm trying to use my Cricut more often I don't use it very often and so I went ahead and I bought some vinyl from Joanne which like I said it's I've had the same rolls of vinyl forever since I got my Cricut like two years ago and I hadn't run out yet and I was running out so I went to um, Joanne and I got some vinyl because I said you know what I'm going to start using this Cricut I bought it I spent the money on it so I'm going to start using it so I just went ahead and I put these um words on there it says happiness is homemade and like I said the inspiration piece was from um Kirkland's and I think it was like $60 and I'm sure it was on a bigger scale but I don't have a whole lot of wall space um so you know this is what I ended up using and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add um so it says happiness is homemade I think underneath that I'm gonna put but joy comes from the Lord um, I just wanted to keep the piece closer to the inspiration piece. But once um, once I'm done, I think I'm going to go ahead and use my Cricut and put that underneath homemade. Um, but that's just personal preference. So I usually save my transfer tape just because you can use it quite a few times. And I think this came out really cute and can't wait to put it on my wall and I'm probably going to put it in my kitchen. I'm not 100% sure yet. But guys, this is it. Hit that like button. Let me know if you liked it. And until next time, be blessed and be the reason someone smiles. Bye.